Hello everyone, here we will discuss Economics December 2015 Paper 2 of NTNN. Question number 1. Consider the following statements. Which of them are correct? Both of them are correct. Because according to Keynes, as income rises, the lower proportion of the income is spent on consumption. And also according to Kuznets, as income rises, the average propensity to save APS remains stable and constant. Question number 2. If the MPC is equal to APC for all levels of income, the corresponding consumption function will be when APC is equal to MPC, the consumption function would be C equal to BY. Because when you find MPC, okay, so when you do first order differentiation with respect to Y, so we are doing the first order differentiation of BY to find MPC, okay, as we do the first order differentiation. As we know y's derivative with respect to y is 1, so the answer would be b. mpc is equal to b. Now we'll find apc. As we know apc is equal to c upon y, that is consumption upon income. So as here you can see, c is given as by. So as we put by upon y, y say y cancel ho jayega and you will get b as answer. So here mpc is equal to b, apc equal to b. Both of them are equal at consumption function, c is equal to by. Question number 3. Transfer of payments by the government are not included in the net domestic product because we only take those things in national income which contribute to production. So example, your mother's service at home or your wife's service at home won't be included in the national income because those don't contribute to the production. Similarly, transfer payments are one-sided like scholarship or pension by government. So third won't be the right answer because it says no corresponding production of goods and services has taken place to match such payments. Since this point says there is no production, so we won't include in the transfer payments. Question number four. Phillips curve tells the relationship between inflation and unemployment. Question number five. If the economy is operating at potential GDP, an increase in the money supply will lead to demand pull inflation. What is potential GDP? Potential GDP is GDP at full employment. As we know, when the economy is in full employment, we cannot increase the output more than that, which means the output remains constant. And in this situation, if we increase the money supply, people will have more income. So here what is happening is, for the same output, we have more people. So demand pull inflation happens due to increase in demand. And what is cost pull inflation? It happens due to increase in cost. For example, increase in the price of raw material or if the labor starts asking for more wages. Question number 6. In the long run, the transitory consumption will be zero. So transitory consumption means temporary consumption. And as we know, in long run, temporary things cannot sustain. So in the long run, it will be zero. Question number 7. According to Keynes, investment demand depends on which of the following two factors? According to Keynes, investment demand depends on rate of interest and marginal efficiency of capital. A and C are correct. Question number 8. For the demand function D is equal to P, P and supply function S, P, the excess demand brings about market equilibrium in which of the following situation? D is the correct answer. Fourth is the correct answer. Question number 9. Consider the following statements. Which of the following are appropriate example of Nash equilibrium? As we know, Nash equilibrium comes in the game theory. And as it is a part of game theory, and you know to play any game, we at least need two members, right? So second would be the right answer because it says coordinates duopoly equilibrium. Duopoly is two. First one is not correct because it says a producer. And in game theory, we at least need two members, right? So it is not correct. Question number 10. In which of the following market situations, firms are able to maximize profits? Firms can maximize profits in monopolistic competitions. And the other three, that is price leadership, cartel, at the king point, are the parts of oligopoly model. When it is price leadership, the it has to go according to the leader. And cartels talk about whole group. Okay, so whole group's ma profit will be maximized. And at the king point, he has to keep an eye on the rival firm. Question number 11. Consider the following factors in the determination of wage. Which of them are correct? So, as we know, 
whenever it is about equilibrium of any market at equilibrium demand is always equal to supply so first has to be correct and also the second would be correct because here in labor market you can consider marginal revenue product of labor as demand and marginal wage as supply question number 12 In the context of a straight line demand curve touching both the axes, which one of the following is correct? Second is correct above the midpoint. You remember in the demand chapter there is one concept. When you have to tell the elasticity of demand on the straight line demand curve, see this diagram. As we know, in the straight line demand curve on the middle, the demand elasticity is equal to one, and as you go above from one. to infinity the demand is greater than 1 that means the demand is elastic and as you go below below 1 from 1 to 0 demand is less than 1 that means demand is inelastic question number 13 slutsky equation deals with the composition of first one price effect into substitution and income effect question number 14 A discriminating monopolist will charge a higher price in the market in which the price elasticity of demand is smaller. There is one concept, Lerner's index of monopoly power, which tells you that monopoly power depends on the inverse of elasticity of demand, which means M is equal to one upon E. Which means as the elasticity of demand increases, monopoly power decreases. and as the elasticity of demand decreases monopoly power increases so when he is charging the higher price that means he has more power and he will have more power when the price elasticity of demand is smaller question number 15 inclusive growth objective was given for the first time in which five year plan it was given in 11th five year plan the objective of 11th five year plan was towards faster and more inclusive growth 11th five year plan came in 2007 to 2012 you must know the objective of 12th five year plan also those are very similar 12th five year plan objective was faster sustainable and more inclusive growth so here towards nahi hai and we have included sustainable question number 16 matching third is the right answer backward and forward linkages is a part of unbalanced growth turnpike theorem von neumann model organic composition of capital marxian model ak production function endogenous growth model question number 17 which among the following variables factors are used in constructing human development index of india life expectancy at birth and real gdp per capita both a and b and which is the third factor which contributes to hdi it is education or you can say literacy question number 18 who introduced lpg model of economic development fourth is the right answer dr manmohan singh question number 19 which one of the following models explain the paradox pertaining to rural urban migration in the context of rising urban employment harris todaro model fourth one talks about the paradox pertaining to rural urban migration This model says people migrate from rural area to urban area to earn more money and the other one Lewis model it talks about transfer of labor from agriculture sector to other sector as we know there is surplus of labor in agricultural sector and if we utilize this labor in other industry let's say uh, in service sector other sectors we will have more productivity and benefit the other one third one vakil and brahmananda model he gave wage good model which said it talks about planning and he said we should invest more on capital goods question number 20 in the harrod model of growth if warranted rate of growth is below the natural rate of growth then it is possible to maintain steady state of growth with first one continuously increasing unemployment question number 21 is old but still i'll tell you the answer third one is right both first and second are correct question number 22 tobin tax is a tax on fourth one transactions in the foreign exchange market question number 23 budget incidence refers to 
in budget incidents we have two main things that is government expenditure and tax policies so the first is the right answer the effect of both government expenditure and tax policy on the distribution of income question number 24 in the case of deficit budget when the deficits are covered through taxes that budget is called balanced budget and what is the formula of balanced budget multiplier it is equal to 1 BBM is equal to one. Question number twenty-five. It is a very important question. Matching. So the correct answer is second two one four three. Fiscal deficit, revenue receipts, and recovery of loans and other receipt minus total expenditure plus total borrowings. Revenue deficit, revenue and interest receipt minus revenue expenditure. Third budget of deficit. Is equal to total receipts and total disbursements. Last one, capital deficit, receipts minus disimbursement, disbursement in capital account. Question number twenty six. Question number twenty six. Efficiency requires that the production of pure public goods be undertaken to the point where the sum of marginal private benefit is exactly equal to the marginal social cost of the production. So, in the case of public goods, production of public goods should be at the point where marginal private benefit is equal to marginal social benefit. Question number twenty-seven. Which of the following pair is not correctly matched? First one is not correctly matched because Rekhi committee was given. It it talks about taxation system on indirect taxes and simplification of export and import procedure talks about. Uh, it was given under pc alexander committee the other three are correctly matched those are nan jum dappa committee railway fair ranga rajan committee balance of payment goipuria committee banking service improvements question number 28 consider the following statements so only first one is correct you have to tell which of the following are correct first one is correct it says the repo rate is the rate at which other banks borrow from the reserve bank of india second one is not correct because when gini coefficient is equal to 0 not 1 when it is equal to 0 it implies that there is perfectly equality in income distribution that is why it's not correct question number 29 retail banking is to provide banking services only to individual customer in an integrated manner first one is correct question number 30 labor market reforms aim at labor market flexibility question number 31 jandhan yojana concerns Bank deposits. Jandhan Yojana was made so that everyone has bank account. Question number thirty-two. Which of the following set does not represent the features of Indian labour market? First one does not represent. It says disguised unemployment, lack of skills, lack of mobility. Second, third, and fourth represents the features of Indian labour market. Those are disguised unemployment, perfect mobility, lack of skills. Then disguised unemployment. Migratory labor, perfect mobility. Last one, poverty, illiteracy, and homogeneity. Question number thirty-three. Metric mean of four numbers two, x, sixteen, and thirty-two is equal to eight. The value of x would be, as we know in geometric mean, we multiply all the values and we take the under root of the same number of values. So here we have four numbers. So root would be one upon four. Okay, and and we'll put all the numbers in multiplication. And we'll put this equal to eight. Okay. So as you remove the root, so eight ki power ho jayegi four. ठीक है. And then you will uh, do the multiplication, cross multiplication, and all. Then you will uh, get the value of x is equal to four. Number thirty-four. If mean is equal to twenty-eight, mode is equal to twenty-five, the value of median will be, as we know the formula of mode, that is three median minus two mean. That can be written as z is equal to 3m minus 2x bar. So as we know the value of mode that is 25 equal to uh, 3m median we don't know minus 2 multiplied by mean 28. Okay, so after solving we get the value of median is equal to 27. Question number 13.5. The correct answer is 1 upon 2. This we'll do later. Question number 36. Type one error is called. When you reject the null hypothesis, when it is true, second is the right answer. And what is type two error? When you accept the null hypothesis, when it is false. Question number thirty-seven. You are given under root x.
equal to 0.6, sigma y equal to 50, sigma x equal to 10, uh, x bar equal to 30 and y bar equal to 140. The correct regression of y on x is given by, see what is the formula for y on x? It is y minus y bar equal to r multiplied by x minus x bar and the value of r x minus x bar is equal to under root x y multiplied by sigma y upon sigma x. Okay, so now we are given all the values. Hena. So, uh, here is the equation y minus y bar equal to under root x y multiplied by sigma y upon sigma x multiplied by x minus x bar. So, now we will put the values 0 0.6 multiplied by 50 upon 100 uh, multiplied by x minus 30. Okay, after solving we get the value of y that is equal to 3x plus 50 or you can write it as 50 plus 3x plus to the right answer. Question number 38. Which one of the following is not a method of sampling? There is nothing called large sampling so this is not the method. Question number 39 is not in syllabus so it's not required to do but still the first answer, first one is the right answer Porter's approach. Question number 40. Form of multi commodity terms of trade is most closely related to lace pair index method. We find lace pair index on the base year quantity. Question number 41. If the foreign offer curve has a unitary elasticity, then the optimum tariff will be, as we know the formula of optimum tariff, that is 1 upon E minus 1. Here the value of elasticity is equal to 1, so it will be 1 upon 1 minus 1, 1 upon uh, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. When anything is divided by 0, it is equal to infinity. Okay, so second is the right answer, infinity. Question number 42. An overvalued Indian rupee in the foreign exchange market will have which one of the following consequences? What is overvalued currency? So let's suppose earlier you had to give rupees 60 for, the, for their 1 dollar and now you are giving rupees 50 for their 1 dollar. Okay, so when the currency got overvalued, the value of rupees 60 became equal to rupees 50 so this will make the imports cheaper since you have to pay less for the same price of the commodity which you are importing and this will make exports costlier since you have to pay more for the same amount of commodity question number 43 which of the following issues were not addressed in uruguay round migration was not addressed the issues which were addressed in uruguay round are iprs services and tariff question number 44 the terms of trade refers to the ratio between export and import prices. The formula of terms of trade is price of exports divided by price of imports. Question number 45. What is the time period of planned holiday? It was given in 1966 and continued till 1969. 1966 to 69 first is the right answer. And you must know rolling plan concept. It was given in 1978 till 19, 1980. 1978 to 1980. Then second year annual plan was from 1992 to 1992. Question number 46. Assertion reason. Assertion. Pareto optimality criterion cannot be used alone to measure welfare level of the people. Reason. The concept Pareto optimality fails in the case of externalities. Public goods are missing and missing markets. Assertion is also correct. Reason is also correct. But Reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion. Ye dono connect ho pa rahe hai. So, second is the right answer. Question number 47. Average propensity to consume. APC can never be 0 while it can be greater than 1. Reason. Consumption expenditure is always positive even if income is 0. As we know, the autonomous consumption can never be 0. Even if someone is not earning, he needs something for survival. He has, to, he has to consume something, right? So it can never be zero. But it can be greater than one. Okay, so both assertion and reason are correct. And as you can see, assertion and reason are connecting with each other. So reason is the correct explanation of A. A is the right answer. Question number 48, assertion, reason, assertion. The endogenous growth theory examines production function that shows increasing returns. Reason. There is specialization and investment in knowledge capital. Both assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Question number 49. 
on a bell shaped curve the value of mean median and mode would be identical reason there is no skewness in such a curve so as we know the bell shaped curve which is called the normal curve on that the value of mean median mode are identical because there is new no skewness in the curve so both assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation of assertion a is the correct answer question number 50 Assertion reason. Assertion. Competition Act of two thousand two came into force and M R T P Act was repe repealed. Reason. M R T P Act was too restrictive and curtailed fair competition in the market. So as we know, the Competition Act of two thousand two it replaced the M R T P Act because it was too restrictive and other things. So assertion is correct, reason is correct, and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Okay, so A is the first answer. Thank you so much.